Hello, grade three, how are you? Let's start our lesson, lesson seven. And let's start with the new vocabularies. The first word is imagine. Imagine some arts paint real things. Other arts paint things that they imagine. So imagination is something from your mind. It's not real and it's not happening in real life at all. It's not a fact like this. This painting is imagined. It's not real. Tools. Artists use tools such as brushes, pencils, and markers to make art. This is tools. Those are tools. And tools can be like your school tools you use in school, like the ruler, the pen, the pencil, and so on. Illustrate. This artist has started to illustrate or draw pictures for a storybook. So illustrate means to draw some picture to make it easier for you to understand the events of the story. This is the meaning of illustrate. Scribbles. Most children make messy scribbles before they learn to draw well. Look at this small kid. He is doing scribbles, messy scribbles on the paper because he can't draw very well sketches painters often make sketches or rough drawings before they begin to paint this is a draft or a sketch tracing using see-through tracing paper let's you make an exact copy of something. This is how you trace. You, uh, if you remember yourself in KG or preschool, you can't hold even your pencil. So you should trace or follow the points to write a letter, for example. This is the meaning of tracing. Research. If you don't know something, for example, or you need to increase your information about something, you can search on the internet or make a research, do a research. So sometimes artists need to do research to find out what things look like. Textures. Paper can have different textures. It can look and feel smooth or rough. For example, also, the texture of a um, t-shirt, for example, is different from paper or wood. So every material or everything have its own texture. Let's see the grammar lesson. Today we're going to take verb tenses. A verb tells when something happens the tense of a verb lets you know whether something happens in present in past or in the future so this is how the verb tense is used to tell you if the something is going to happen or happened already or is happening right now in the present this is the verb tense let's look at this schedule for example present tense now the dog stays inside so how this is how we can use a present tense to express or to say that something is happening right now or in the present past if i'm talking about something that happened last year last week last day or yesterday so this is indicates past tense yesterday the dog stayed inside the artist illustrated a book this those verbs indicate or tenses indicate that this action happened in the past future tomorrow the dog will stay inside the artist will illustrate a book those two examples using well plus the infinitive will stay will illustrate indicates that something will happen in the future later on maybe tomorrow next week next year next month or any tense that will happen in future let's see this exercise and it works as an illustrator so the underline underlined verb i need you to tell me whether it's present or past or future and it works as an illustrator works here is present or past of course it's present because we are using s with the verbs if I'm talking about singular in the present. He painted pictures in art class. Painted here is past or present? 
Yes, past, because I'm using ed. So when I add d, e, d, i, e, d to the verb, this indicates that I'm using the verb in the past tense. So he painted pictures in art class. This indicates past. The teachers showed him other paintings. Showed here is also past because I used ed with the verb. A company will publish his new book next year. So, will publish, will plus infinitive indicates, yes, future, future tense. His friends will get a copy then. Will get here is also a future. So, this is how we can recognize the difference between present, present, which uh, we can add S, E, S, I, E, S with a verb when we are talking about singular thing or person, and we can add uh, nothing we can add nothing to the verb in present when we use or talk about plurals or we they you and also in the past tense with all the singulars and plurals and pronouns we add ed i e d or ed with the verb like stayed illustrated here we added ed future tense we Use well plus infinitive. Will stay, will eat, will illustrate, will drink, will play, and so on. The last thing, which is opinion writing here, uh, opinion writing is used to express your opinion about something, whether it's good or bad. So in an opinion piece, a good writer states an opinion in the introduction. The opinion tells readers what the writers believe or thinks about a topic. So when you write your opinion piece, be sure to include an opinion statement in your introduction. It should be clear to your readers how you feel about your topic. Here we will see the final copy of a girl. She wrote about something. She wrote uh, about her opinion in something in um, uh, for a picture, for example, and we will read its sample. Pictures are important in a story. The pictures in Jack draws a pin stock were a big reason I enjoyed reading in story. In fact, it's one of the best illustrated stories I have ever seen. First, the pictures are big, bright, and colorful. I love the blues and greens that the illustrator chose. The pictures are clever too. For example, the illustrator draws the beanstalk growing right off the page. Second, the illustrations really help tell the story. They show me that the giant's wife looks kind and that the castle is grand. I wouldn't know this things if the illustrations weren't there. The illustrator did a wonderful job drawing pictures for Jack, draws a beanstalk. I just wish the story was longer so there would be more illustrations to see. This is how this girl wrote about her opinion in illustrations in the story she read. And now it's your turn to try to write about something you can give your opinion about and thank you for good watching good watching and wait for the reading passage explanation in the next video thank you